Hi guys, hope everyone's well. I'm having a great Tuesday today. So, I'm doing a lot of property viewings uh, nowadays, uh, and from my experience, um, you know, to get the viewings right, it's very important um, to bring some tools with you. So, I just wanted to give some quick tips about what I do uh, when I do uh, property viewings to maximize the value of it uh, and to also be able to look at things uh, and see you know what's the best offer I can offer onto this property so three things that I always take with me uh, when it comes to property viewings the first thing is I'll always have my iPad with me right so this little baby is very useful because it can um, I've got apps on there. I've got an app there that I can use to do a floor plan. So this is extremely useful for if you're looking at viewings uh, or viewing properties that don't have floor plans from the agents. Sometimes they don't. Uh, even if they do have floor plans, um, sometimes they don't have measurements. So the second tool that I always have with me is a laser measurer. So you can buy a laser measurer quite cheaply uh, off Amazon or any other places. Uh, and basically what it is, is a little machine that if you put it against each of the walls, it can quickly ca um, calculate the surface area or the, the, the distance uh, of, of, the, of the room. Uh, and if you cal calculate the surface area, then you know what the room sizes are, which is extremely important if you're planning on taking a property and doing a heavy conversion and turn it into a HMO. So having the floor sizes, and, and sometimes even if there are measurements um, on the floor plans or with what the agents, agents provide as um, uh, as measurements, uh, double check it because most often or not they aren't 100 accurate. So you might be surprised some rooms might be bigger or smaller than expected. The third item that I always take with me is a damp meter. Now sometimes you can just tell right off the bat uh, whether a wall is damp or not um, just by seeing the discoloration on the paint or the, the you, you can just tell sometimes or you can even smell it in the end if, if it is a really damp property but sometimes you can't so I always have a damp meter with me so then I can test the moisture of um, the brickwork uh, to see if there's any damps and if there are then you know make uh, calculations for potentially how much it would cost for a damp of course so sometimes if you're doing a renovation you might not need to do a damp proof course uh, for the whole property because that would be quite costly um, so you know having a having a damp meter would definitely help you um, suss out whether there are damp in the property so these are three tools that i would use uh, and always bring with me with any viewings um, other things um, that might be useful to have as well is a ladder. Uh, sometimes you can get um, you know, places where you need ladder access to really see. Usually it's the loft, especially if there's a loft hatch, but then there's no um, ladder access to it. If you have your own ladders, a telescopic one, you can buy one that extends out. You can use that to check. Uh, or if you're really, um, well, I'm afraid of heights, but if you're not afraid of heights, you can also use it outside to potentially check the roof to see if there's any towels missing, if there's any issues with the roof, any you know, things with the chimney breast, maybe you might need to be pointing. That might be a sort of damp, by the way, uh, um, pointing missing from chimney breast. So this is just a quick tip video uh, for, for you guys that are doing properties and are also doing lots of viewings. Um, I find it very useful to be prepared. So having these items would definitely help you prepare for when you do view properties. And then once you've got all the information, you go back uh, and uh, you can stack a deal and put your offer in. So hope this has been helpful and any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll see you guys soon.